In this video, I'm going to show you how to install iOS charts into a new or an existing application. For this example, we'll just make a brand new application in Xcode. So we'll create a new Xcode project. We'll select single view application. And then we'll name it iOS charts. And then we'll save it to our desktop. So now that we've got our application ready, we just need a way of installing the iOS charts into our application. The most common way of doing this is by using CocoaPods. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and close this. We're gonna to have to navigate to our iOS charts folder using Terminal. I'm gonna go through this a little bit slow for those who haven't used Terminal before. So in order to navigate to a folder in Terminal, you use CD and then whatever the folder's name is and that'll navigate you to a folder. Um, CD dot dot will navigate you back, so I'll, I'll show you that. CD desktop, that brings us to the desktop. If you type LS, it shows you the content of your desktop. If you type CD dot dot, that brings you back to the previous folder you were in. Typing LS again shows us that we're looking at our desktop, documents, library. So in order to get to the iOS charts, we need CD desktop, iOS charts. So let's do that. So we'll go ahead and navigate using CD. And then if we just start typing desktop and then hit tab, it'll finish it for us. So desktop and then iOS charts. After you hit enter, you're actually in your iOS charts folder. If you hit LS, you'll see iOS charts and iOS charts.xcode proj. And you can see iOS charts xcode proj there as well. Now, if you haven't used CocoaPods before, you're going to need to go ahead and install CocoaPods now by typing uh, sudo gem install CocoaPods. You're going to need to also enter your password, and that'll install CocoaPods for you. So the next thing that we need to do is initialize our pod file by typing pod init. And you'll see that a, a pod file has been created inside of your folder for you. We're going to edit this pod file with a text editor. I use Visual Studio Code. And for this repository, we just need to add pod charts. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And then go back to terminal and then type pod install. And this will go out to GitHub, pull in the repository, and install it into your application. CocoaPods creates an XC workspace uh, project file. So that's the project file that we're going to be working from uh, going forward. We're not going to use this Xcode proj anymore. So we click on that, open up Xcode, and sometimes the application will compile and sometimes it will not. So let's go ahead and build the application. We'll see if there's any errors. While we're waiting for this to build, you can see that there's a, a new pods uh, project added to your folder. It says build succeeded. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just see if we can access the iOS charts framework by going import and then charts. If everything has worked correctly, we should be able to build our application just fine. And we, and we were able to build our application. So let's go ahead and we'll reference We'll reference a class object from the charts library just to be 100% certain that this is working. Because this is built, we know that we've installed our charting application properly. If this hasn't built for you, you may need to close your application and then just reopen it. Sometimes that fixes it because this is Xcode. If that doesn't fix it, you may need to go into iOS charts, build settings, or build phases. Uh, and then I believe it's link library with binaries and just make sure that you got pod iOS charts framework in there If you you might need to remove it and re-add it You might need to tinker around in here a little bit I've had issues with this before, but that should do it You now have iOS charts installed into your iOS application